He's not a little wet. <laughs> he He's very wet. He was for me. When Dad said not. <laughs> The last time we made a video for you guys, we were in Arizona. We were all the way in Ajo, Arizona. Since then, we've gone to Lake Havasu and then started working our way up California. And we spent two weeks dog sitting and spending time with friends in San Francisco. And then last week we spent like five days with- My brother. Tommy's brother and his wife in Yosemite National Park. So we haven't really been filming anything because we've just been with people and enjoying time. Family time. Family and friend time. We are back on our own. Um, we just got to, where are we? It's like Lake Shasta area, but just right past Reading. Is it Lake Shasta or Shasta Lake? I don't know. I don't know. We tried to find a camping spot like two miles from where we are now and it was on public land and it happened to be closed and gated. So now we are at our backup option and it's really nice. It is. It's got a nice little babbling creek and you can see where the where the water used to come up to and now it's pretty drained. On the other side of these trees over there is part of Lake Shasta but this feeds into another part of the lake. So if you look at this spot from a map or on the dirt app. It looks a little different. It looks different, yeah. And on the other side of where we're camping, there is a train. And that goes by like- Five times a day. <laughs> five times a day. Um, but the conductor like waves. It's not that bad. If you come to find this campsite and you don't like noise, this is not the spot for you. This was our backup. This was our backup campsite. There's also an established campground over there that is closed in the off season. Train. <laughs> there it is. We have a few more days in this area, but we have a little bit of work to do. And we have to run into town a few more times. So we decided to stay here because the campsite we wanted to go to, which is about an hour north of here, it's supposed to be raining there for like four days. And the lows were a lot lower there, so there was a chance of snow. So we just decided to stay put instead of head north too quickly. We have a few rainy days coming up which aren't super fun. We don't do that much on rainy days. And I think it's just gonna be a slow few days. So maybe we'll show you what rainy days in the Airstream look like. It's been raining for like a full day at this point. Yeah, 24 straight hours. <laughs> so we are reorganized all of the boxes under the couch air like boxes, the storage bins under the couch. So we keep dog food and tools under the first one. One of our grill attachments in this one, camping chairs, pack raft, a bunch of other stuff. And then yeah. to the left is more like camping stuff. Keeping it pretty light, but it still ends up being a lot of stuff with dog food. Look how chaotic it is in here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna start making the bed and like cleaning up over here. And we had to move the dog bed. The dogs just went on a long walk. Um, Trip is in a cone right now because he just keeps licking himself. He's also soaking wet because he decided it would be a good yeah. day to go swimming. <laughs> and the couch is reset. <laughs> yeah, that's good. We thought it was going to get better out. The weather showed pockets of sunshine. That never happened, so... We're heading out. We're driving 30 minutes north. We're gonna go ahead and pay to go to a campsite, charge up, and just reset. We should do laundry and all that stuff. This is the not fun part about traveling if it's rainy forever. And we're kind of just heading straight into rainy forever. So we'll make the best of it. <laughs>
resort. The restaurant looks cool. Yeah, it's like all bar carts and restaurant carts. And there's a little store. And you can stay in these cabooses too. Yeah, look at all these. Oh, this is cool. We should have got a caboose. No, so it's spot one, like right after this tree, we just pull in. Or you can cut. And everything's on the same side and everything? Yeah. Because this guy had to pull around the other way. Well, our stuff is on your side, okay. and it looks like the tank is right there. What's going on? He's just a talker. Super chatty? Yeah. I thought something was wrong. I was like, oh no, did we make a reservation at the wrong place? No, no, he was just telling me everything and then asking about my last name. <laughs> all that mumbo jumbo, you know? Tommy's taking the dogs out and my job is to go ahead and dog proof the flooring for when it's raining. This is not going to fix the problem, but it's going to make it a little easier and avoid wet dog paws everywhere. <laughs> it's ready for them. Come on, buddy. Trip. <laughs> Stinky dirty. <laughs> this is like such a shake, 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 shake. Missy, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Don't do it over there. Okay. What well, kind of work, right? It kind of worked. Just the manicness of like first getting into the airstream when it's raining outside. We just woke up at the railroad park campground and it's not raining right now. And I think we're gonna go on a hike today. <laughs> I don't know um, what the hike is called, but there's like two waterfall hikes in this area, small waterfalls. So we're gonna check those out and it should be a pretty good day. Breakfast tacos, there's one for you. We've been having overnight oats here for the last few, like a month, yeah. and we can't find the lid to this as of yesterday. It's probably in the dishes. I didn't do the dishes last night. Really good breakfast tacos. If I were to rate these tacos, I'd give them a nine. Damn, that's a high rating. Mm -hmm. We are getting ready to go. The sun came out for a really short period of time and we missed it. It might come out it again. It might come out again. Or it might rain again. Who really knows? So we're going to head to the hikes first and then we're going to head to check out our next campsite. Dogs are happy. Moody. Super moody. Incredible, these dogs. Oh, that is cool. So we're back in the truck. We talk about this a lot on our Instagram, but we have two older dogs. Uh, Missy's somewhere between 13 and 14, and Tripp's probably like 11 at this point. They're both rescues. So we can't hike very far with them, but we still try to get them outside. We're trying to choose things where they can come that are short, like a mile from the trailhead and then back, sometimes shorter because Missy just, she can't do that much with us anymore. So there's another waterfall hike on this road, but instead of going to it right now, we're going to go and check out our campsite and let both of them rest on the drive. It's only like a 30 minute drive at this point and uh, sun's coming out, so that's good. Glad we checked out the campsite. <laughs> 
here just a little early. Here's the road in. It's Lower Sand Flat Road. And we're here just a little too early. It's still <laughs> snowing. <laughs> After a failed attempt to find our next campsite, we decided to head south, drop the dogs off at the airstream, and then head into the town of Dunsmere, California to grab a quick bite and a drink from the local brewery. After that, it was time to head home and finish up the chores that need to be done before we head out the next morning. I don't know why we're using Trader Joe's bags today. What backpacks in the car? And I didn't feel like kid. I want a nice fluffy towel. I know. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, for a hot jacket. Doesn't that sound nice? This is so unnecessary. <laughs> We have that supreme spot right next to the showers and the laundry. I picked it. I just picked it because it was easy. And it was number one. Winners. We do have a shower in our airstream, but sometimes it's nice to use a larger shower at campgrounds with endless water and especially endless hot water. How was your shower? It was good. Not the best water pressure, not the biggest like shower nozzle, but it was good. It was super hot. The height thing was for me. I had to like. Yeah, it was short for duck. me too. Yeah. Yeah, that is the weird thing about that one because I'm not that tall. It's real nice and cozy in here. Yeah, I started a fire when she was gone so her wet hair wouldn't get cold. It's nice and it's raining again. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow's the end of the rain. I mean, the rain's a good thing and a yeah, bad thing. Sure. They've been in a drought. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we're going to pack up from this campsite and get back out to camping on public land. So, yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Shall be fun. Yeah. Like trying so hard not to get dirt on up before since I vacuumed. But no, it's going to happen again anyways. parked and made it to camp. The original spot that we wanted was taken by another camper. We're just gonna unhook and Tommy's gonna continue driving down the road to see if there's an even better spot. It just gets kind of weird uh, towing into the unknown attached to the trailer because this is a really narrow forest road. So it just, there's not a lot of turnaround spots that we can do without like doing really sketchy stuff. So yeah, we're gonna see if there's a better spot and then if not, we're gonna stay put. Cool back here. Pretty cloudy. 
Well, it's better than rain than what's supposed to be in the forecast, so sad. I thought there was going to be a different view here. Me too. I don't know, there might be something. Yeah, maybe. I think we just scare ourselves out of going further. Yeah, I think it's smart. We don't know what's down there. I hope you find a better campsite. <laughs> So this is the view from camp, and we're pretty sure Mount Shasta is hidden in the clouds up there. We were trying to see if it was gonna clear up, but it was supposed to rain today and it didn't, so it's probably just snowing up there. We caught a tiny glimpse of it, and it looks super beautiful, so we're excited to see if the next few days are going to be clear or not. Tommy just got up and said we can see the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. Okay, so this is out of our door. <laughs> Feels like a lot. You know, I measured it last night. Remember? We turned around the airstream. We, we had really good morning light. The other way. But this way made our campsite a lot bigger, so we switched it up. And now we're grilling out for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's making me tired. So we've mentioned the Dirt Camping app a few different times in this video already. We wanted to give you guys a little explanation of what that is and why we like it. It is an app that makes it easier to find free and paid campsites. It's how we found the campsite we're at right now. One of our favorite things about the Dirt Camping app is the pro layers. So it's a toggle where you can have BLM land and national forest land boundaries show up or disappear if you're not interested in that. So the app makes it easy to find free and paid campsites, which if you could tell by this week is pretty important to us. We do love camping for free, but we also enjoy being able to find paid campsites easily and being able to find good discounts for paid campsites just from having a pro membership. So if you're interested in trying it out, you can do a 30 day free trial with our promo code fast home. And we'll also add a link below this video. Feel free to try it out. And if you guys do try it out, let us know in the comments how you guys like it. Hey baby. Hey baby. She's a little guard dog. She likes to have a job. It's not like Trip who's sleeping inside. <laughs> Trip. I guess yesterday really took it out of him. So he's just been lounging all day. Oh, do you want me to come over and rub your belly? It's Sunday. You're allowed to do whatever you want, Trip.
Guys, move. We are finally leaving this campsite we've been at for about two weeks in the Mount Shasta area. This spot was exactly what we needed. Probably only 20 people passed us in 14 days, so it was just super relaxing. We got a ton of work done while we were here. And although I think a lot of people show adventure constantly while living on the road, that's just not always the case. Sometimes you just need stillness, and that's exactly what we did here. We just hung out with each other took the dogs on a lot of walks, short hikes, and all of that. So now that we're rested, we are ready to keep moving north. We are headed to Oregon on Monday, where we'll be for most of May, I think two to three weeks tops. And then the plan is to head to Washington, finish up getting ready for Alaska, and then we'll be crossing into Canada mid-June. It's snowing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Missy, you wanna come out in the snow? It just started snowing. Um, <laughs> all right, I think it's time to go. 